Welcome back to IBS's Dueling Town Hall with candidates Donald Trump and Senator Bernie Sanders who are answering questions from the audience in turn. Keep them down to 30 seconds, gentlemen. This next question comes to us from Jared from Flint, Michigan, regarding health care. Yeah, thanks. I'm, uh, I'm 25 going on 26. I'm unemployed with no prospects. I won't be able to be on my parents' health insurance anymore. What can you do for me? Okay, frankly, when I'm president, I'm going to take care of everybody. Okay? I am, people don't talk about, okay, no one's going to be dying in the streets. I am so compassionate. No one talks about how compassionate. Everyone who knows me, they say, Donald, you're, you're so compassionate. You are the compassionate machine. I would never call myself that. That's what they call me. The United States is the only country without a nationalized health care plan. And we can do better. Okay, um, how do you plan to pay for the plans? Bigger government and more taxes. Yeah, yeah, shit. I, I call up tariffs. Yeah, works for me, thanks. There's a man who needs some hope. Next question comes from Blake from Poughkeepsie, New York, who says he's leaning toward Mr. Trump, but is undecided regarding Bernie Sanders. His question is regarding job creation. Thank you for taking my question. Um, with workforce participation at a three-decade low, how do you plan on increasing the number of jobs available? First, we need to ensure that every human makes Excuse a me. living wage. China. Okay, the revolution. I wasn't China. finished. Excuse me. Okay. All right, we're losing everywhere with China. Okay, even by, I'm going to do such great ah, things with China. Oh, I was the one who was against TPP first. I'm the one who will help the lower classes with free college and no okay. more free Excuse me. trade. Uh, Okay, yeah, so uh, we both want to stick it to China. Is, is China a part of TPP? Okay, excuse me. The point is... No more getting a job is a human right! How do you plan on forcing businesses to, to make the switch? Bigger government and more taxes! Shave tariffs. Moving on, this next question comes to us from Stephanie from Mount Pleasant, Michigan. Stephanie, the floor is yours. Thank you for taking my question. With the recent anti-LGBTQ AAIP laws passed in places like North Carolina, under the guise of religious protection, how can I trust you to protect my right to use the bathroom I want? Excuse me, okay, nobody has more friends, frankly, than me, okay, in the LGBT community. AAIP. Excuse me, okay, whatever. But we have a problem in this country, okay? We have people, okay, who want to go to the ladies' room, frankly, and do some, truthfully, okay, not very nice things Using the women's in the ladies' room. room. Even for those with cocks, is a human right. Someone has to get to the root of this problem. Why people, okay, want to go into the ladies' room, okay, frankly, and do these not nice uh, things. No, men's room. Okay, excuse me. I thought you wanted to. I'm gender fluid. So. Gender's non-binary, and there are too many blacks getting gunned down in the streets. I will fight for both of them. And how do you plan to implement that? Bigger government. Bigger more government. Tariffs. More tariffs. And the final question comes to us from Coach Rip from Wichita Falls, Texas, who is a small business owner. As a small business owner from, uh, from North Texas, I'm interested in knowing what you can do to make me comfortable with voting for you. Okay, frankly, great question. Okay, beautiful question. I love that question. The best. Okay, the best. You, you have a future with asking the questions, this guy. Okay, I am going to be, frankly, the best for small businesses. Okay, I am going to be so good. You're gonna love what I'm gonna do. All the programs I have for small businesses. That's you won't believe lie. the programs. He's just promising you more free shoe. Excuse me, okay. How's it feel with the Jews of the other Did foot? Did you say Jew? I said shoe. He said Jew. I'm the one with the program. But I don't want any program. Small businesses are the backbone of this country. So long as they don't make too much money. And they pay a $15 minimum wage. Yeah, they will. And you let trannies use their preferred bathrooms. And you pay Excuse your me. fair okay. share. If I'm you the guy follow the these rules, okay. I'm going to have so many programs. Okay, the time limit does. Would you agree to these programs? Small business subsidies are a human right. I don't want any subsidies. Oh. Okay, frankly, what do you want? Nothing. I'm not sure I follow. I want you, the governor, to do nothing. I mean, excuse me, we can't do nothing, okay? Because sometimes even nothing, okay, is 
Frankie, no, something. Nothing. I want you to leave me alone and let me run my business. That's my right. You seem to misunderstand the concept of human rights. Hey, excuse me. Trust Trump. Okay, you're gonna love the programs, believe me. No programs. How about some programs? Zero programs. Excuse me, okay? You're very rude, this guy. Frankly, you should at least hear the program. Okay. What is the program? Bigger Big government, government and more, more tariffs. Taxes. He's getting away! Take it! He said some very not nice things. This guy, not nice. Stay tuned for more Town Hall from IBS News. If you like this video, subscribe by clicking my face or the button above me, the one that says subscribe. If not, you can watch some of the videos next to me that are playing in a box. But I warn you, at the end of those videos, there's another end card with me encouraging you to subscribe. But instead, you can also click the videos. And those videos, too, will have buttons requesting that you subscribe. It's like a choose-your-own-path book. Like, remember Goosebumps? Only you always end up subscribing. So just do it now. And then go watch the videos. Get it off your plate.